Stuart, thanks for joining us at Dragons TV. Do you mind starting by telling us what was agreed at yesterday's board meeting? A huge day for the Dragons. Um, a very bold decision has been taken by the board uh, around uh, how our business is going to operate going forward. Essentially, at the moment, we have a group structure comprising Newport RFC, Rodney Parade Limited and, and the Dragons. And the decision that was taken yesterday was uh, to separate, in effect, the, the Dragons uh, and free them up to become a fully independent regional entity. Are you able to summarise the current ownership situation and how this will change? I think it's, it's, it's widely understood that uh, the Dragons are currently owed an equal share, one share each, by Newport RFC and the Welsh Rugby Union, although in fairness the, the Union don't have uh, direct directors on the board, uh, don't interfere or, or exert control over the day-to-day the -day running of the Dragons, um, but it nevertheless have a 50% stake in the region. So the, the aspiration here is to seek out um, fresh investors, possibly new owners, uh, who having satisfied us that, uh, about their, their credentials and, and their investment plan uh, will have the shares transferred to them and become become new owners of the region. What are the main reasons for the change that was agreed at yesterday's board meeting? I think quite clearly that the main driver for that is uh, for us to be more successful and more competitive on the field of play. It's all about the aspirations that we have uh, for the Dragons and, and our future. Uh, and in that respect, we're hoping that the, the, the fresh investment will act as a catalyst. We know this decision was, was made la last night in a board meeting. What was the timeline that led up to that board meeting? Well, clearly these things don't come about overnight. Um, we're going back about 12 months, actually. I hadn't been in post long before we had an away day with the existing board of directors. That was important to me in terms of understanding um, my new environment. Uh, getting a steer from the board as to which direction the business needed to go in. And it was very much discussed in that away day that the, the focus of the business being the Dragons, perhaps the existing arrangement wasn't delivering to the business uh, what it should. So the work started in earnest after that. We had uh, a strategic plan signed off in June 2015. Uh, one of the main objectives of which was to look at the, the current organisation is fitness for purpose and how it was going to serve us going forward and that in turn then led to a special board meeting in October of last year where the board agreed that their preferred option was to see the Dragons becoming fully independent and capable of attracting fresh investment. So having determined that that was the preferred option there was then a lot of work that needed to be undertaken to uh, explore that preferred option and what the barriers to delivering it might be. Uh, whether it be legal, financial or other. Uh, and that's what I, I've been uh, working with the board on in, in the uh, intervening period. And that's culminated then in a decision at uh, yesterday's board meeting uh, to proceed with that preferred option because we believe it's deliverable. This is very much uh, a start, not an end in itself. As you can imagine, there's been a, a lot of discussion around how this might be achieved. And in light of this decision now, we can proceed with attending to all the actions and having all the discussions that we need to have in order to deliver on it. What will that investment mean for Newport Grand Dragons? Well, I think that's the really exciting part, really, which um, is an unknown, in, in all honesty, because the, the possibilities uh, are great. Uh, the spectrum is quite wide. We, we can't uh, foresee at the moment exactly what that investment might amount to. Um, uh, but the potential is great and, and clearly uh, the amount of investment that we're able to uh, secure will then shape what follows. But um, very exciting. Um, it, it's a big moment for, for the Dragons, the decisions that's been taken. Uh, and away from the rugby, I suppose it, it also means that uh, as far as the venue is concerned and the business at large around conferencing and events, we can look at all that as well. And also uh, our community work and a wider marketing and engagement with the region. Over the coming months, you're going to be actively seeking new investors. Do you have a message for those who may be interested in this opportunity? I do, which is which is talk to me, um, come and see us. Uh, this is a very uh, exciting possibility. It's an opportunity for, for someone um, or a number of people to take a place at rugby's top table, shaping the region, and indeed, you know, the professional game in Wales. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities 
that could, uh, could come from that. Uh, it's a story that's yet to be written, really, so I'd say to anyone out there uh, interested in coming on board, now's the time. Uh, come and talk to us, and we'll see where, where we go. And have you any idea how long the transformation might take through to having new investors here at Newport Gun Dragons? That's a more difficult one to answer. Uh, what is important um, in terms of the decision is that it now frees us up to proceed with everything that we've been considering um, in terms of what it will take to arrive um, at the, the separation of the dragon. So there's a lot of legal and financial considerations that now need to be um, addressed. And I think um, part of that it clearly is the securing of, of the new arrangements and the fresh investors. Notwithstanding that, though, I think we have to push on uh, and position the Dragons um, as, as being ready for that fresh investment. So I would hope that by the end of this year, most of the actions that we need to undertake will have been completed and hopefully fresh investors on board. What will be the immediate changes that supporters will see here at Rodney Parade and at Newport Grand Dragons? Well, they may not see a lot immediately because the, the work I've, I mentioned there will all be going on behind the scenes, I suppose. So. Until such time as the new arrangement's in place and we have announcements to make, uh, it's business as usual at Rodney Parade, um, both in terms of our, our push in the venue and the work that we're doing uh, on the rugby side of things. Um, but I would hope that in uh, sooner rather than later, uh, we'll be able to make some positive announcements as to what changes are coming and, and what, what supporters can expect. And what impact will the changes have on Newport RFC? Whilst this has been driven by uh, the aspirations for the Dragons, the, the interdependencies between uh, the two sides are, are recognised. Uh, clearly, Newport RFC will continue to own the, the, the ground um, so, and, and all the buildings. So, the primary assets stay with Newport RFC, uh, but it would see the Dragons then entering into a lease with Newport RFC to, to play their games here and, in, in effect, run the venue. Following the news today, there'll be Newport Grand Dragons supporters and stakeholders that will undoubtedly have more questions about exactly what's happening and how it's happening. What opportunities have they got to speak to you in the coming weeks? Well, given the, uh, the, the nature of the decision, it, it, it is a big one. It, it's, an, it's important that everyone understands what it means uh, for all the stakeholders. Uh, and that is communicated well. So uh, outside of the press rounds, uh, it's very important to me that I meet the supporters of both Newport RFC and the Dragons to, to discuss what this means to them. Um, obviously some will be common to, to both, but uh, regardless of that, on Monday, April the 11th at 6.30 here in the, the, uh, the business suite in the busy stand, uh, I'll be meeting with Dragon supporters and on Wednesday the 13th of April at 6.30 p.m. at the same time, uh, I'll meet with Newport RFC shareholders and uh, supporters.